Hello and welcome to Songs and Stories. Today I'd like to sing a song from a musical we did a few years ago called Oh Jonah. And it's called Song of Forgiveness. This is a scene when the king of Nineveh and the people of Nineveh finally realized that their ways were not God's ways. It's the message that Jonah was sent to tell them. And they're asking God for forgiveness. They're saying, I'm sorry. Please, Lord, help us become the kind of people you want us to be. And we can do that too. Lent is a great time to say I'm sorry and to ask for forgiveness. Any time is a good time for that. So listen to this song and maybe the second time through you can sing along or hum along. Hello friends, I'm so glad to be with you. Most of the Jesus stories that we've been talking about lately have taken place as Jesus and his disciples were traveling from town to town or across the countryside. But today's story takes place right in the middle of the big city, Jerusalem, in the temple. The temple was the center of Jewish life. It was always crowded with people coming and going and teaching and learning and praying and offering sacrifices to God. Many people were gathered around listening to Jesus teach about the kingdom of God. The things that Jesus was saying upset some of the priests, scribes, and other religious experts. You see, they liked how things were. They were in charge. They didn't like Jesus saying things should be different. Some of these powerful people tried to trick Jesus into saying something wrong so that he could be arrested and stopped. But Jesus understood what they were doing. He turned to his disciples and said, Watch out for people like these. They like to walk around in their long robes, they love being recognized and treated well in the markets. They love being important in the synagogues and honored at fancy parties. They're the ones who cheat widows out of their homes and then act holy by saying long prayers. This will get them into trouble with God. Jesus looked up. His disciples turned to see what had caught Jesus' eye. Rich people were putting money into the collection box for the temple treasury. Then it was a poor widow's turn. She put two pennies into the box. Jesus said, this poor widow has actually put in more than all the rest. All the others gave out of their extra money, their spare change. 
but she's given everything she had. I wonder what you think is the most important part of this story. I wonder what this story tells us about what God is like. I wonder what this story tells us about how God wants us to live. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you next time. Hi, everybody. Well, I just want to thank you again, Miss Peggy, for such a beautiful song. It's always so nice to hear you sing. And thank you, Miss Lindley, for sharing that story with us. There are so many parts. I think my favorite was when Jesus talked about the woman who gave the two pennies, though. Well, without much more, let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. For friends and family, work and play. Thanks for love that we can share with our neighbors everywhere. Amen. I'll see you guys next week.